college soccer is divided into two seasons, the season and the off season. The season is 14 weeks long, which leaves the other 38 weeks for the players to prepare for the upcoming fall. Much of this preparation must be done by the players on their own. This is because college soccer is a battle of wills. You have the will to prepare, or you will lose games. This video will show you what it's like to be a college soccer player during the off season. The off season is 38 weeks long, but it's these 38 weeks that can lead to postseason success. In the mornings, um, there's a couple of us here living in the Vinings or off campus, and we'll come in and we'll do uh, we'll work out about once a day. We'll go running in the morning. Um, and then most of us have jobs or other things that we do kind of throughout the day, and then at night we'll go out and play, uh, maybe in some men's leagues or just with each other to kick around. Today, the Furman College soccer players were training for the fitness test. The fitness test is to run two miles in under 12 minutes. They must pass this test to be able to train during preseason. During camp, the players kick around as much as possible. The intensity of kick arounds can greatly vary. Sometimes they start off extremely slow and end that way. Other times, they are intense from the beginning. Kick rounds come in all shapes and sizes. Their intensity varies depending on the day. Today we're watching a kick round that was filmed during camp. The off-season is a time to do hard work. It's a time to elevate your pain tolerance. It's a time to become a champion. It should be no surprise then that the popular saying, the vision of a champion is someone who is bent over, drenched in sweat, and at the point of exhaustion when no one else is watching, was coined by a soccer coach. To score the goals that will carry you through the season, the offseason is a time to work a little harder, to get drenched in sweat. It's a time to become a champion. And champions make it to the finish line. Boy, fuck. Good job.